Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Gilded Tarot Royale by Cyril Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. Website at the bottom is Llewellyn.com. Uh, there's also the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram information if you're interested. Feel free to check those out. Supportive Oracle Cards, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. Websites on the back here. The one that pops out to me is shewhoisart.com. There's also a couple others. Feel free to freeze frame and check out whatever you'd like to on there. Okay. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini. Ooh. This. I like this. <laughs> I'm not a Gemini, but I'm telling you, it looks pretty good. Um, transformation at the bottom of the deck here. And happiness. Why not? Well, holy crap. Like, <laughs> what's going on? This looks great. Like, not that you don't deserve it, obviously, but uh, you got transformation into happiness. Something, I don't know, this is from the past. We have to let go of the past here. Something about the past is moving on. You're healing from something from the past. So I don't mean like you have to let go of it. It feels like you are letting go of it. Um, I'm getting released from something that no longer serves me. Maybe there was something I had to keep. Maybe it was a house I had to keep. Maybe there was a job I had to keep. I just felt like I had to be there. But you're healing out of that situation because I'm getting like the commitment here is changing. Something's evolving. Um, I'm getting answers and there's getting there's a, the spot is coming where I'm like I'm seeing my way out. Information is coming your way. You got the 7 of pentacles, so I don't see it happening in 5 seconds, but I feel like the information is coming in very fast. It says commitment, but I'm seeing that bird. The one bird is much more prominent than the other to me and I feel like they're bring, somebody's bringing in information really quick. Um, something is coming your way. You're getting like this it's not like just like somebody's just telling you something. It's either you're getting a whole new contact and you can work through and find out information through, or it's, it's it reminds me of like getting a whole like um, like getting a whole recipe book of a certain type of things. It's kind of like all the ways, what matches what, how to do this, how to do that. All these like it's a huge huge thing. Like there's a lot coming in. I just got to get, I just got to sift through this information. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Um, answers are coming. So, like, what's over there? Answers. Who's who's in charge of this? Answers. What possibilities, like, what type of positions are open? How many people are doing those things? What type of things do they do? Those type of answers are coming your way. Comes in really fast. Creates that magician moment for you. Oh, well, I thought I was stuck in this one situation, but now this whole new book of answers, this whole new person with answers... Something is coming your way, giving you a crazy amount of answers. And it comes in so fast, it feels great. Kind of like, okay, this is great. Well, now what do I want to do with it? Um, this is not lost on you at all, but you seem to understand that now that I have the information, I need to use that information, and you want to. You are ready to. You're like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring that. I got the information. Now I need to do something. I got to do something. I just have to decide what I'm going to do. Um, it's coming in really fast. I keep getting like this, it's coming in really fast. Um, I'm also a little nervous. I feel like you have a little bit of a nerve ending, nerve, nerve ending, nervous feeling here. Kind of like it's, uh, it's coming in fast. Is it, is it going to leave very fast too? Is it like, is this just going to be a passing moment that I either have to jump now or I'm just kind of like a SOL? Um, nine of cups and the devil card. Um. Do I have, to, I have to do this on my own? You have to do this on your own. I have to be very shrewd with it. Shrewd? Shrewd, why not, right? It's a little stressful that I have to do it all on my own. I do feel like you have to do this all on your own to really get the success you're looking for. This is like all, like, you have to do it all by yourself. <clears throat> very self-sufficient on this one. Um, I'm worried that it's not going to last. Really, really, 
kind of stressed about it is what I'm feeling. I'm stressed that it's like, all right, I'm going to try. I know it's here, but then if I don't succeed, I'm really in trouble after that. So I need it to succeed. You have, give yourself more credit. You have the staying power. If you decide you're going to make this work and you're like, nope, if I want this to work out, I'm going to do this. I feel like you're going to do this. You're going to have this. You have the drive. I feel like especially because of the past of the situation, you've been held down too long, held down way too long. And you're like, well, that's going to that's gonna keep you motivated because it's kind of like as you move forward and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. You're going to be like, yeah, but I don't want to go back to that. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing. You are going to succeed. Um, you're holding that line. You're holding it together. The history of this situation seems like a very big, strong, very, very, very strong, big, strong, whatever you want to call it motivator kind of like I'm not going backwards I finally got my chance to get out of the situation that I do not I do not like I don't like it so I'm not gonna let myself backslide you're not gonna let yourself backslide you have what it takes to do this um no it's definitely on your own I keep getting like a lot of like this is like on your own card the nine of the pentacles the nine of cups are very on your own card they're just centered different ways you're gonna be a lot happier doing this than you think this is going to work for you better than you realize. Um, how are we getting there? It's a great question. Your outcome is the Ace of Cups with the finding, which is telling me you just got to start the trip. You're going to hold yourself to it. You're going to hold yourself accountable. Your history from this, you're not going to let yourself backslide. There's there's more, more things coming up too. You, one of the things that you don't see going into it Because it's like I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm seeing my possibility and I'm seeing my choices. But I'm feeling like once I make one of these choices, it's probably going to be boring. For some reason, I feel like, oh, it's probably going to be boring. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be boring. But you're going to be surprised because you got a fool playing around in this situation, which ironically is going to entertain the crap out of you. And you're going to be able to use that to your advantage. Um, tell me if I'm wrong of course, in the comments, but Gemini can make the make use of the fool. Um, if somebody's a little bit crazy and doing this and doing that, you can find a way to make that work for you. And you can see like, all right, they're a little bit all over the place and they're a little bit random, but I'm thinking you're going to find ways to utilize that more to your advantage. And it's kind of like, at the very least, they keep the, the place lively. This fool bopping around and has a lot to say, that fool is really going to make this a lot better. And I feel like once you get there, once you get halfway down this road, you're going to be like, you know what, this isn't half as boring as I thought it was. This is actually a lot of fun. And I feel like I love the fool. Whoever the fool is, I'm just like, I like this fool. They keep it very entertaining. I know how to, I know where to put them. I know when to be around them, when not to be around them. And I make this work out my way. Um, that fool does not bother you. That fool also brings in possibilities. This is also going to be a situation that keeps evolving. Um, I don't think, for some reason when I'm looking at it, I'm not expecting that when I'm getting into it. I keep thinking it's kind of stale. I don't think it's going to be that exciting. But when you get into it, it almost reminds me of like one of those buildings. You know those buildings where on the outside it doesn't look that great? And then you go inside and you're like, wow, like this is like a beautiful house or this is a beautiful whatever. And this, all this is here. Like this looks great. It doesn't look that great from the outside. In fact, the... The, maybe even the grounds are looking kind of beat up. On the outside, it looks doesn't look good at all. But on the inside, you're like, wow, I didn't realize that this was in here. It didn't look like it from the outside. And once you get in there, you're like, now that I see what's here, I can do a lot with this. This is my jam. I can do this. This is going to be great. All right, it's popping out, so we'll do it. The freedom card. You're going to have a lot more freedom than you expect. I feel like maybe that's another reason where... Maybe you're a little pessimistic to get involved or thinking I'm going to be restrained, I'm going to be restricted, it's going to be very you know, heavy, a lot more freedom than you're expecting. So they're saying go for it, go for it. You see what's coming in, you see that it's time, the information's coming to you. The sooner you act on it, the happier you're going to be. It's going to go a lot better. You're going to be surprised how much you love it. I feel like that's why the Ace of Cups is here. You're not just going to like it, you're going to love it. Give, your, give yourself a chance to love it. This is worth it. Anything else? That's a, that's a fun reading. That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> Hopefully you like it too. 
All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.